Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is lesson five, what are you doing on the hill? And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 17 and verse nine. Moses said to Joshua, choose some of our men and go out to fight the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hands. Happy New Month, my dearest family in Christ. I love the end of the year so much for many reasons, but chiefly because we get to celebrate Jesus, the light of the world. Anyway, I digress. Today we conclude our five lessons from the battle of Israel with the Amalekites. And our fifth lesson is this. There is a specific posture you take on the hill to guarantee your victory. So, until now, we have um, spoken about the synergy between the hill and the battleground, and we established that both sides are important in a battle. We also spoke about the fact that it was the activity on the hill that ensured the victory on the ground, and we agreed that we must sustain the ability to ascend the hill if we are going to win in the battles of life. Today, I want to take this a bit further. Our scripture says that at the start of the battle, Moses declared that he was going to stand on top of the hill with the staff of God in his hands. There was a specific posture Moses was to take. If Moses had gone up the hill to sing and dance, for instance, Joshua would have been butchered on the battleground. If Moses went up the hill and kept the staff of God on the ground and walked around it, Israel would have lost the battle. Moses was to go on the hill and hold up in his hands the staff of God. This strategy was revealed to Moses by God in an encounter the Bible doesn't record. There are particular postures for particular battles. Just ascending the hill without first pre- uh, procuring the strategy for the battle will cause the foot soldiers to be defeated. Jericho. They needed to march round seven times in silence. If they had danced round, the walls of Jericho would still be standing today. You remember Jehoshaphat? The strategy was to praise and sing. If they had prayed instead or jumped up and down on one leg, the en- enemy army would have annihilated them. How about the wedding in Galilee? The strategy was to put water in the gallons. If they had insisted on adding something else, maybe Ribena to the gallons or any drink, they would have had no wine. There are always strategies for the battles that we face. And this is the reason. Rather than rushing into prayer about situations, we should normalize spending time asking for what exactly we should do or pray about. Just being on the hill doesn't guarantee victory. What you do on the hill is what guarantees your victory. You may be on the hill this morning, but are you doing what you should do on the hill? Go back to God in prayer and let your prayer be, what must I do, Lord? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, we thank you for the grace to see the beginning of the last month of 2022. You have been beyond faithful. Thank you. I pray, Lord, for every listener of this devotional, that we will all see 2023 in good spiritual, physical, and mental health. Father, please continue to take all the glory, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.